Hey Taurus, so today we're going to go ahead and look at your new love reading. This is for those of you who are single, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to take a look and see who is this new person that's coming into your life. Who is your next love, next encounter. So we're going to get some details on how you'll know who this person is, who they are, what this connection will be like between the two of you and any other details that need to come up here today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so I know I picked this up on the last reading I just did. I'm seeing somebody knock at the door, okay, knocking on the door. So, I mean, for some of you, there could be a knock on the door. You know, somebody could knock on the door. Um, it feels like I'm very much getting with the Justice card coming up between you and this person. This is definitely a connection that feels like, um, it's almost like I'm hearing we've done all we could do or everything it's like a last kind of straw of some kind or a last final piece. Like maybe we've done all that we could do to get to this point. So it feels like with the justice, this is, this is definitely a connection that is right now, this is probably a connection where you either are on the brink of coming to some type of equilibrium or compromise, or maybe you are with the Page of Swords here too. This definitely does feel like the, the whole theme of the reading is about some type of um, sudden communication or sudden um, even visiting or knock on the door. It could also be like metaphorically, the Page of Swords can be like somebody knocking in our mind, you know, somebody knocking on the door in our mind kind of in a way, some type of nag or nudge that I feel is going on. But it feels like, this is someone here with the Six of Wands I'm picking up on who is, it's almost like I'm getting this person could be trying to find a way here to, they have, okay, so this person feels like they have something to lose. Um, whoever this is I'm picking up on today, they kind of feel like they're, they either have a lot to lose if they were to communicate this to you or tell you about this here. Um, I feel like how they're feeling about you here, the Hierophant, I'm getting also strong Leo energy. I'm seeing a lion. So this is definitely someone who you don't either know that they're thinking this right now, or maybe you don't know maybe everything about this person. There's something about them coming up as someone who is very much in the shadows right now, which is probably why I was drawn to this darker deck. And with the Page of Swords, you can see this man kind of in the background, in the shadows. So I'm hearing untouchable. Actually, you know, I kind of feel like this is somebody who views you as untouchable. That's what this is. With the Empress here, this is somebody who views you as very out of reach. I don't know why yet you're out of reach. But this is definitely what the theme of the reading is. It's somebody who feels like you are out of reach, untouchable. Um, maybe you are just gone off the radar. Or maybe this is even for some of you. I mean, it could be like a secret admirer. It could be somebody who you, has not revealed themselves just yet. And I'm hearing sugar. So they could, I don't know if they called you sugar or this person sees you as sugar or something like that. There's something about a sweetness here. Um, and it's interesting because you have the Seven of Swords on your side here. And I'm very much getting, actually, for a lot of you, that it does actually feel like this could be a situation where spirit is very much around you and trying to protect you. Um, I'm not sure if they're protecting you here from the entire connection or they're protecting you. I def definitely feel like for you, you have either many options or you are about to have many options. Maybe not just love. I mean, yes, it could be love too, but there's something about spirit very much wanting to almost shield you and protect you from anything that is not gonna bring justice into your life. So this is why I'm kind of getting, this is definitely somebody who is yearning to kind of be um, talking to you or suddenly show up or if it is like a secret admirer, somebody who wants to um, get to know you, somebody who sees you as very kind of sweet in a way or attractive even. Um, but I'm getting that, the, I'm hearing the tables have turned. So for those of you who this could be someone who because justice, you can see this little teardrop here too. If this was like a falling out or an argument, for example, or maybe even somebody who you have not heard from for a while, it, it feels like the energy has turned in terms of the tables have turned. You may be somebody who 
Um, I mean, maybe you've turned your back or maybe you have a different perspective or a different outlook. See, this figure here um, has a sword behind the back and he's kind of carrying it behind his, behind his back here. And this is you. I'm, I do feel from the majority of you, this is a situation where you know more than you give yourself credit for, for whatever this is or whoever this person is. You may intuitively know what this is that I'm talking about so far, or when the time comes, you kind of intuitively know uh, what maybe this person's bringing to the table or what the offer will be. So it does feel eight of cups here too, crossing the reading. Um, this is like a, a feeling of an inevitable drop of the ball. You know, it's almost like somebody has this ball and we know that it's gonna drop at some point which is why I'm wondering with the Justice and the Page of Swords, you're either expecting some type of news, you're expecting some type of communication, or maybe even if it's specific to your situation, then you would know if it's like, you know, you expect to find something out or you expect to have the, the ball drop, or maybe you just expect somebody to kind of approach you. I mean, maybe some of you feel like, you know, it, it could go differently for different people, but maybe you walked away and you kind of always knew that justice would come, that something would be brought back to you or that you would kind of, you know, maybe come out on top here in the situation. There's something like that I'm getting in this that's going on here. Um, I definitely feel this is somebody, again, they want to get into your world, I'm hearing. They want to get into the scope of your world. They want to get into your energy, into your good graces, maybe. Um, with the Hierophant, I actually feel like this is somebody who maybe previously was this person who did not really have a light of their own, kind of. And so I do feel, I want to look at the outcome and see what is going to happen here and what exactly this is. But it feels like this is somebody who wants to be in your energy. They want something from you. Uh, again, I don't know if it's coming from like a malicious place. It doesn't feel like it is, but it is kind of coming from kind of a little bit of a place where this person is someone who wants to, again, kind of be around you or to get something from you a little bit. Um, and that's where the Hierophant, it feels like they, I'm hearing exhausted every option. So, I mean, you know, for some of you, maybe this person has exhausted every option in their dating world. Um, and you know, that's maybe not what you want. You don't want somebody who's going to choose you last. But it feels like this is somebody who could have done that and somebody who could be um, thinking that way. But it also could be if this is like a newer person. For some of you, it could just be that they have dated many people before that didn't work out. And they kind of, with the Six of Wands and the Empress, they see you as being untouchable. They see you as being kind of out of their league in a way or someone who is so different than what they're used to. And so they may have felt like they exhausted all other options or they didn't, you know, have what they wanted before. And now here you are, or now here you come if you're a new person and they want to find a way to get to know you, to sort of knock on your door in a way to see what this could be. Um, but I can see it being like a past person too, and maybe too little too late type of thing to where with the Hierophant, they exhausted all other options and they now see you as somebody who is unreachable. Um, and you could be very unreachable. I do feel like if this is resonating with you, you're probably quite mysterious or secretive, or maybe you have not spoken to this person for a while. There's something with this creepy looking figure, um, that you have turned your back or you... I'm hearing don't mess around. So again, I kind of feel like some of you are saying that, you know, don't mess around with me or you can't mess around with me. But it also could be too that like your spirit team, your spirit guides are saying that you can't mess around with you. You know, your spirit guides are protecting you. Um, I definitely am getting here like a vision of the ocean and everything washes to the shore. So something is passing the tide. See how the lit does kind of light in the background here. I definitely feel like there's a situation again with the justice going back to the middle here. Um, basically that something is washing up to the shore. Um, news could be washing to the shore. This kind of final justice being put together is washing to the shore. Um, in which, you know, something that has been needing to come out sort of is, is going to, or potentially even you knowing what decision you need to make with the Eight of Cups. Let's actually see what else is coming up, because I don't know what's washing the shore, but it feels like it's going to kind of set a foundation for at least for you to move forward in a better way, to move forward in a more solid way. 
And when I was shuffling this deck, we have the chase at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, so preparation, victory, six of wands, that is victory. So this person with the page of swords too, they, I will say for a lot of you, this is a situation where they have had another option. I don't know if they've had another option, like right now they have another option or they chose somebody else over you before. It is definitely somebody who's been going back and forth between two different options. Um, and that could be why I heard, you know, exhausting every other option. Maybe you have always been too much out of reach or you've always been in their eyes, maybe a level above them or a level above whoever else they were dealing with. And so you are somebody who has always been out of reach or maybe they chose somebody else because you were out of reach. I don't know, there's something here about that coming up. So. Let's see, justice between you and this person. I'm getting, um, I'm hearing spirits say it will grow back or it's almost like they're showing me like hair growing back, but it's not hair. I mean, it could be hair for somebody, but I don't think that's what it is. It's more of like, it will grow back in terms of your life will grow back, you know, depending on how this will relate with you. If this is somebody who you're moving on from, you will kind of love again or with the ace of cups here the light will shine again your heart will open again um but i mean it could also be let's see before i jump ahead um i didn't feel like that card was right because i was talking what is the connection here between you both justice i'm hearing michigan somebody could live in michigan specifically grand rapids i'm hearing we have only you fixated attached and hypnotized yeah, I mean, it's very clear of this reading today. This is somebody who has been pretending to not care as much. They have been wearing a mask. This is somebody with the Page of Swords. They're hiding in beneath these shadows here. Um, they're very fixated on you, but it's almost like a little bit. I'm going to go into them and how they feel and see if they're coming from a good place or maybe like not so good. But it's kind of 50-50 right now because I do feel this person could be somebody who does have the tendency to wear a mask, to not be totally real, not be totally authentic here. Um, but they're very much attached to you, very much fixated and sort of hypnotized by what you offer, especially because, and especially if this if this does resonate with you so far, it is somebody who um, you are some, I'm just getting an L, Lizette, Lizette or Lise, I don't think it's Lisa, Lizette or something with an L-I- Z maybe, Liz, but you are somebody who is out of reach. I'm seeing somebody meeting up at like a restaurant or a bar, um, judgment, coffee shop one day. Yeah, so there may even be with the Page of Swords, again, some type of impending offer. Somebody could be offering you like, let's, let's meet for a drink or let's meet up here. But I, again, I'm getting a message that something is coming out, some type of secret or news is coming out, the sun and the hanged man. Yeah, it could also be that somebody is coming out of hiding for the first time in a while. So this is definitely a reading. It's a clear storyline I'm getting today. This is somebody who's about to come out of hiding, who wants to come out of hiding, um, who wants to sort of make a move or to shoot their shot or if it is like a secret admirer, you know, maybe somebody who's going to finally reveal this is who I am, or I've been looking at you, or I like you, or um, something like that. But there's a feeling of, for others of you, if this is somebody who you have this argument or falling out, or you've been in no contact, sort of, and you know that this is for you because you've been kind of feeling a bit of this you know, not facing it, you haven't faced this person or you haven't heard all that you need to hear from this person. I do feel for some, there could be like a secret exposed or this person could tell you some type of secret or news, okay? Um, I'm getting, I'm not getting chills myself, but I'm seeing somebody get chills. So I don't know if somebody is getting chills or goosebumps, that could be a confirmation. For somebody or when you hear this news something will kind of give you chills about it um page of pentacles at the bottom let's see but i, I keep getting this sort of lurking energy in the background though of some type of jealousy you know maybe somebody who has this low-key jealous energy to them or jealous streak or somebody who the way they're coming up I don't really like it entirely but I do feel I like you yeah so someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting and want to date so 
Again, there's a few different ways I'm seeing this, so take it how it's going to resonate. It could be somebody brand new and somebody who you know has had their eye on you, somebody who maybe is lurking in the background, they haven't made themselves known, but you kind of know, you know, you're catching on to the fact that they do like you. Um, they may have an energy where, again, if it's a new person, you're kind of you're different maybe or you have many options or you're out of reach or you're out of their league or something like that but they do want to see what can happen between you both because they feel like you are somebody who they want to sort of have this victory with they want to be with you or they want to see what would happen here um but let me see the connection here not enough yeah so jealousy fear ego issues frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence i think that it's this person for some of you it could be you too we have the mirror so actually it could be both of you you could mirror to each other with the seven of swords this may be somebody who you know in a some type of way you both could mirror that you don't feel enough or that you trigger each other if it's somebody who you've been connecting to or someone that you know who this is maybe there's a feeling of like there's always an underlying trigger there's always something that kind of irritates you about them or about this connection but let me look at this person a little bit more because i'm curious to see yeah the five of wands at the bottom this is somebody who's been again like in the crowd you may not know that they're feeling this way or you may not know that they like you if it's a new person but um if it is somebody who you've known they kind of have been in the background in the crowd here they've been feeling like i definitely feel like this person has some insecurity issues they feel like they're not enough or they feel like they don't have enough to offer offer you and that's why they view you right now as the empress they view you as someone like what's what would it be worth anyway if i were to make this you know gesture or if i were to reach out I think they could actually do it though regardless of their fear but they definitely feel a little bit uneasy about it which makes them come across as the page of swords it makes them like this background noise or this background person is how they feel so they may not even think that you're interested maybe i don't know if you are or not but so how are they showing up the empress the six of wands and the mirror again so this is somebody who you probably are mirroring each other. So you would, by this point, you would know if this is for you, um, because I do feel like you could feel maybe the same way as this person. Maybe you do feel the same way. Um, I do feel like it's this final straw. See, like I said in the beginning, something is reaching a point where like I have to say something, or maybe I have to even, depending on how this fits with you, maybe this person thinks like I have to apologize. Yes, maybe I have to say how I feel. Maybe I have to apologize for what I did wrong before. I have to divulge the secret that I've been holding. I have to lay out my vulnerabilities or my true feelings. I have to say how I really feel. There's something that's reaching this point kind of with the justice of no return. Like there has to be, this tear has to drop. That ball has to drop. Um, I don't know why I'm seeing somebody could have loaned you their t-shirt. So that could be a very specific. If this is for you, maybe you maybe they gave you gave you their t-shirt to kind of go home with or something or maybe you are wearing their t-shirt do you have a t-shirt of theirs something like that's coming up for someone how is this person showing up six of wands the empress who is this person that we're connecting to today spirit and how are they showing up in this situation they feel hurt though so the thing is, is that this person feels hurt, but again, it's because they, they, they're a very prideful person. They either feel hurt because you've already rejected them or they're kind of hurt in their own world. You know, they're not even something about this man I keep looking at and the way that he looks. He's there. So, he's sort of, if it's a he, hurt because of a fear of rejection that may or not or may or may not actually have happened. It could even just be their own wounded ego, like the fear of getting hurt or the fear of getting rejected. It could also be somebody who has been rejected by other people and they kind of have this feeling of like, you know, being roaming wild, kind of taking chances, maybe even being a little bit of a player before. 
um, and I feel like they have irritated you, you know, if this is somebody that you know, or you've irritated them, but this is, you know, with the differences in compatibility and conflict, I'm seeing somebody coughs a lot. So this person could cough a lot. Um, and if that is the case, there's something about like how they could be lying a little bit here with the pretend they may be holding withholding information from you or they may be somebody who has trouble being honest you know in general um, i've noticed that actually with a few people that i know like if somebody coughs a lot and they don't have like a medical reason for it they may have issues with their throat chakra which they haven't really faced, you know, and that's why they're coming up here in this reading as this kind of lurking in the background energy. But let me confirm here, how are they feeling about you? Because I want to see here, what are they thinking and feeling about you? Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Yeah, they. this person would rather almost do nothing. That's the thing. For some of you, they will do something. But for others of you, they're kind of standing on this ledge here and they would almost rather just sit in their pride than to say something. Um, they have this feeling of... I am hearing uncharted territory. So I think I mentioned before too, for some of you, it may not be for everyone, but for some of you, they may either be involved or you may be involved. And so they almost feel like this would be uncharted territory to go into your direction so they would rather hide in the background for a variety of, variety of reasons. One being that, again, they feel like you're out of their league or that you are somebody who's out of reach. And maybe you did pull back. Maybe you did cut this person off because they were involved. For some of you, that could be it. Um, and then another reason that they feel this uncharted territory is because even if you didn't cut them off, they could be with somebody else or they could see you with somebody else. And so they almost feel like, the combination of factors here is making it very difficult to make a move or to do anything. Um, Ten of Cups is showing at the bottom of the deck. They're very mesmerized by the idea of you. I will say I do feel like this connection or this person could have a bit of an unrealistic kind of view. Um, they could see you as someone who, again, they either put on a pedestal um, or maybe you both put each other on a pedestal. There's something to where they're looking at you as this Ten of Cups. But... It's like a fantasy in their mind. How's this person thinking and feeling about you? I'm seeing some of you could either be a psychic yourself, or maybe this person has consulted a psychic. They're showing me like the traditional kind of crystal ball and somebody gazing in it. I don't know if this is maybe, it could also be that they kind of picture you in their future, in their fantasy, in their mind, they see you in their future. What is this person thinking and feeling about you? Yeah, this is definitely a reading to where there are third parties are they thinking and feeling about you? So I, that's definitely why I was drawn to get the black and white deck because it feels like this is probably a little bit more of a shadow reading. Um, let's see, boundaries, influences. They feel like, I'm hearing, they can't pour from, from an empty cup. This person has not been able to give not you know again give nothing or or they don't have much to give here but they're still in the background how are they feeling about you the influences yeah i think that they're waiting yeah they're definitely obviously secretly admiring you this is someone who's suppressing their feelings hiding again in the background here some of you could actually bump into this person or see them if you are out and about or something that could be for some of you, but they're waiting for a time to where the sun can come up. They're waiting for like a better time. So I can definitely see this may be a situation to where, again, you may have had strong boundaries or they can't cross a line right now. They can't come towards you because of either you told them that or because they just feel like they can't do it, you know? So it would be like they would be electrocuted in a way if they were to do it because of their circumstances or because of whatever has held this back. But the thing is, is that you do have this mirroring connection. So there likely is a mutual feeling here. At some point there was, um, or you both 
are curious maybe about each other. There's some type of curiosity. Um, and they're very fixated on you. They're fixated on what this could be or what this could have been with you. Um, and then again, they're kind of trying to... It's like I'm seeing gum, like gum on the sidewalk almost, and you're trying to pull it, but it, can, it can't separate. There's a feeling of the stickiness, sticky gum. Um, I'm getting this person's afraid you will laugh at them, I'm hearing for some reason. I don't know why that is, but they're afraid that you would laugh at them or they're afraid of, again, telling you their secrets or telling you how they really feel. So take this how this will specifically resonate with you. Again, the scenarios I'm getting, it could be somebody who you have no idea. I don't think it is for most of you, but it could be someone that you have no idea that even is interested in you. Um, and they could be just a classic secret admirer and they're very interested in you to the point of almost like, I wouldn't say obsession, but they're very intrigued by you. They're very fixated on you, um, but they're waiting for the right time to sort of reveal who they are. They could even be waiting for them to get out of something else or to separate. But for most of you, this is just a situation where it's somebody who you either had a falling out with or you are in a separation with and you have a tendency to mirror each other in your conversations, in your actions, in your lifestyles even. Maybe you're, you may not be similar, but you just mirror each other, you trigger each other. But this person, they are maybe in a third party, in a marriage or a long-term situation for some. And again, they feel like they so much in their mind want to be with you or to c contact you or to kind of tell you, this is how I really feel about you. But it's like it can't be in reality right now. It's a fantasy of some kind. Um, and so in the meantime, they have been struggling with insecurities about, you know, maybe they even settled for something less than what you could have had with each other because of their insecurities. They have not felt enough. So they're just basically coming up here to, in this reading, to say that they're still lurking in the background and... Um, something is reaching a moment with this hanged man the sun to where the mask might be becoming melt melting off or they let's see let's actually confirm what is i just want to see here what does this person want with you why are they coming up yeah so when i divided the deck we have you say you miss me but where have you been all this time Again, I definitely feel for some of you, this is somebody who, regardless if they're in a serious commitment or not, they have chosen other people in the past, or they chose somebody else to be serious with, or they just simply chose other people. Um, and so there's almost this feeling of resentment, or maybe you did. I mean, it could be opposite for some of you. Maybe you chose somebody else. Maybe you have moved on with other people. Maybe you rejected again this person, This because the person seems to be quite sensitive to rejection or the fear of rejection. So if that is, however this is, maybe you rejected them or you have other options. So there's this kind of, or maybe even both of you, since you're mirroring each other, maybe you both kind of have resentments in different ways towards each other. And so there's this feeling of like, yeah, you say that you miss me, but where have you been? Like there's a bit of an anger. There's a bit of a feeling of how can I just show up? How can I knock on the door after all this time and everything is going to be okay? Like they have a lot of, and that's why they're wearing such a mask because they don't want you to maybe know about this right now or they've been trying to hide how they really feel. This person has a lot going on. A lot of emotions, a lot of complicated thoughts. Yeah, I definitely feel that is the case for a lot of you. I think of you when I'm with her. It won't be for everyone and this story is probably quite specific so definitely just take it if it's for you. But. Um, this is somebody who either does think about you when they're with multiple other people that they're dating or they are in a serious relationship and they feel like to be with you or to talk to you would be like they would put themselves in a very sticky, troublesome situation. Um, and there may even be either differences that you both have to where maybe it wasn't the best connection or maybe even that, you know, they have a lot of drama or clashing of energies around them right now so there's many complications here so what is the what does this person really want with you why are they coming up in this reading what do they want all 
I'm hearing they want to go back to how it was. I want to go back to how it was. My heart won't ever be the same. You've really been tugging on my heart. Yeah, I mean, they've just been... For some of you, this actually could be somebody who's been suppressing their feelings for quite a while. Um, to the point where it's almost like... Again, like I said before, the ball has to drop. Their heart is be beginning to sort of burst in a way. Um, and I definitely feel like it could almost be... I'm hearing midlife crisis. So for some of you, it could be this sort of midlife crisis in a way. Even if they're not like midlife age it's almost like some in some type of way i don't know if it's because you saw them recently or you talked to them recently or just simply the energy has been feeling it's been tugging on them for whatever reason it's almost like this feeling of the heart for a while was not admitting they didn't admit how they felt for you and also other things in their life they've just been simply wearing a mask as a person as an individual for a while And I still wonder why. Yeah, with the Seven of Swords, this could be both of you. Um, they could wonder why it didn't work. Or if you did reject them, they're wondering, you know, why did we leave on that note? Or why didn't we make it work? Um, or maybe there's still this confusion in the air, you know, of what happened here why didn't i ever hear from them again or maybe you think this way you know it's it's what do they want with you i feel you but it's only imagination let's run away forget what they say yeah so it's somebody who wants to run away with you maybe not actually but i mean they kind of have this vision in their mind with the Ten of Cups. What would it be if I were to just get away from my life right now? What if what 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 could we become if I were to do this? So let me see what the outcome is here and why is Spirit bringing this up today? So what about it, Spirit? What is the potential outcome? Knight of Pentacles. What's interesting is I think that you are somebody, two of pentacles, who serves as a bit of a muse or even a inspiration to this person. I definitely feel for a lot of you, if you resonate with this reading, you kind of have maybe evolved a bit more than this person or you're somebody who's on a more spiritual path or you just have more to sort of, you're more aware. Um, and so I definitely think with the Knight of Pentacles here, the reason this is coming up is because you need to hear it, I'm hearing Spirit say, because you need to hear this. I don't know. Some, someone, someone here needs to hear this confirmation. It could help you on your journey. It could help you to identify what your intuition has been telling you. It could help you to even know for some of you where... It's almost like Spirit wants someone to hear this because in some way it's going to make something click for you or it's going to explain to you maybe why it didn't work or it's going to be different for a lot of you the exact reasons but spirit wants someone to know the facts they want someone to know what actually is happening or what actually is going on maybe you've just been wondering you've been confused because with the justice here the reason this is coming up is because it feels like justice in a way is being served or justice in this situation is needed especially if you've been hanging on to what happened or maybe you've been having this tickle kind of in the back of your mind of this page of swords of like knowing something is up or something is happening or someone's thinking about me um, and so this is where spirit wants to confirm for you that it's not really about, the outcome here is not about this connection it's more about knowing that you can kind of move on slowly now it doesn't mean that you won't talk or you won't see this person again it's more of just the energy of getting on to track or getting on to the right track for your life getting getting past the seven of swords 
being able to kind of put that sword down so that it doesn't so it's not a secret anymore for you it's not like in the back of your heart in the back of your mind um, I hope that makes sense what is the outcome here nine of pentacles we have all pentacles coming up for the outcome because it is mainly about the self the nine of pentacles let me see tell me a little bit more spirit what is the outcome here what is the point of this reading for the viewer coffin Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. I am hearing it's not your fault. So for some of you, you may need to know that this was not your fault for whatever reason. Um, whatever happened here was not your fault or whatever the situation brought. It was not anything that you did or didn't do right. We have the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, growth, change mind, transformation. Hmm. Yeah. Keys on a ring. So the outcome here is mainly it's like I'm seeing somebody walk back into a crowd of like a thousand people. So Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure, karmic relationship. Spirit, tell me one more card. Let me just confirm something and then I'll get some final message cards. I just want to confirm something here. I thought about you a lot lately. I've thought about you a lot lately. It, it, to be honest, it, it sort of just feels like the energy is just, it's nothing is really happening. At least I'm looking here for the next month or two. It doesn't feel like anything drastic is happening, even though we did have the sun here, the hanged man, the pretend, the justice. Um, it's more so happening, I feel, on an energetic or kind of karmic level with this sort of ledge here. There's a feeling of a lot of things are being realized, a lot of things are coming to the surface for not just for this person, but for you on this journey, if this resonates with you. A lot of things are making more sense or they will soon make more sense for you. Um, and it feels like there's not a whole lot of movement here in terms of where the exact kind of connection is heading but it feels more like having to get through the mud to the other side you know almost like a muddy kind of pond and you have to cross the mud to get to get to the other side um, and that's where this connection feels like it's been in territory that has not allowed maybe you to move on or to move forward or to have the closure you need um, and it still kind of feels like there's, even though I do feel with the coffin, the phoenix, you know, maybe this is simply helping you to move on this reading, or it's helping you to gain clarity or closure, or it's helping you to understand sort of what's happening in the background. Um, 
because I am hearing missing the boat or is it too late? So again, there's like an offer on the, or maybe not an offer, but a question on the table of is it too little too late anyway? Or can I clean up this mess, you know, kind of with this person here? Is it is it even salvageable anyway? So it's it's kind of like a feeling of there's many more things to clean up, you know, it's like a closet that's full of debris and we're only a quarter way through of cleaning the closet. So this is mainly just picking up on a scenario that somebody needs to hear, um, potential timelines, potential energies of what could happen, but the outcome is still remaining of having to clean up kind of the old energy in a way. And I am hearing something about returning back to the start. So I think I said before too, this person could be somebody, if it is someone you have a history with, they could almost want to return back to maybe where it began between you both or return back to this connection. But I do feel that on the same token, you could be somebody who's in a way returning back to center or returning back to the start within your own growth and your own journey and process. So it's kind of going to be different for a lot of you. Um, I'm going to get one final card here from this deck and then I'm going to pull the message cards. What does the viewer most need to understand about this situation today? I'm hearing one thing that you need to understand is not everyone, you know, not everyone has the same journey, obviously. Not everyone will be on the same journey as you and not everyone can make choices that you would make. So maybe you feel there's some resentment or maybe there's some feelings of why did you do this or why did you choose this or why did you choose that? There's a feeling of like understanding from a higher perspective, um, especially for those of you who there will be communication, there could be with the justice or maybe it's already happened with the Page of Swords. It's lingering right now, but for some it could happen or it could be an existing kind of situation that you're in um, to where this whole thing is happening, this third party, all of this stuff. And so the conflict is still under the surface though. The conflict, the mental turmoil, the upset, the tension. Um, so for those of you who are communicating, maybe you will find a way to communicate better to overcome that hurdle, take that sword away and just walk away instead in a better way between the two of you. But it can also be too that this is just, um, again, it feels like this is an unfinished book though, an unfinished story, but for right now for the for the current energy it doesn't feel necessarily like there's a lot of movement or progress for the time being it's more of finding ways to either work on this if this is someone who's an existing thing and you know maybe this person will have to reveal themselves they're going to have to say how they feel they're going to have to divulge that secret or that information or those feelings they're going to have to take that leap of faith something will have to give here um, in order for this story to either complete itself to have closure or to better the connection or better the relationship but it is a very complicated situation it's not an easy thing resistance yeah it's like they're showing me one hurdle down or one it's like a whole field of these sort of sticks and we have to push everyone down and there's like a thousand of them, meaning that we have to go through all of the hurdles first or all of the pegs in the way to get to the bottom of what the issue is between us or to kind of move forward. So it's, it's a little bit of a clouded forest here in terms of the outcome. But that's what some of you need to hear. And I do feel that if you do choose to, with the coffin here, the closure, you may just need to know that it's time now to move into a place of optimism, especially if you're over and done with whoever this is. You're finding a way to, you know, kind of move, get onto this horse here and move to smoother waters, move to a place of just, it is what it is. I accept it. Um, I'm ready for the new or maybe I forgive you. Let's move on. There's just a feeling of this whole cloudiness needing to be let go of So let's see whoever this is. What do they want to say to you? Whoever this person is that we picked up on today spirit Yeah, so fair I'm trying to do the right thing for all involved. I feel obligated to make everyone happy
what does this person want to say to the viewer of the reading if they could be honest there definitely is a level of regret here I am not open to talk right now and then this card flew up at the bottom being away from you has made me realize how much I love you there is much more than meets the eye the way that I act is not a true reflection of my feelings yeah again like we had seen this is somebody who wears a pretty heavy mask they have a tough layer on they have a lot of masks that they're wearing um, and since that card kind of flipped up at the bottom I think this person and definitely for this reading there's going to be different groups of you in terms of what you want from this person some of you will want to reconnect with this person and some of you are completely over and done with this connection and you want to move on um, it's very 50 50 here I feel this person I feel could be having again a realization that they have made maybe the wrong choice before they didn't move from a place of heart they have worn this mask for so long that in the back of their mind it's been buried in the back of the closet kind of that they have always wanted to maybe run run away with you or to be with you and not the other person or not the other situations but they've had to they still are in a place of pride they're still in a place of this block um, to where they might be inching closer or kind of again lurking in the shadows trying to make a way to make themselves known or even passive aggressive ways to sort of get your attention there's something like to where they're not fully like done with this but they're also not doing anything either so it's a very strange energy we have can we just test the waters first i want to slow things down things are moving too fast so see they're very much somebody who and if you are talking already or you know this is someone who you're existingly existingly talking to um it's somebody who they may pull back they may kind of act a little bit weird they may not be putting all their cards out and i think that it's because they don't maybe know what they want right now it feels like but if it is this person who's in the background they may want to just test the waters you know say hello or even give an apology to you because we did see that before um say sorry admit admit their feelings admit their wrongs but they also definitely have a lot to kind of work through i feel what does this person want to say to you I'm getting for some reason this is somebody who maybe hasn't cried or something for a very long time or they hold back tears you know maybe for you but maybe also in general they could be somebody who has like a very tough demeanor um but they actually like inside they sort of need to cry they need to just kind of sit with their emotions and be you know feel what they feel they have a lot of tr turmoil So I just want to get you alone. Yeah, so we already saw that. This is somebody who, like I had said earlier, they feel like you're out of their league or you feel, they feel like they can't reach you, they can't touch you, which only makes them want you more, which only makes them feel more intrigued by you. So if they could have an option, they would just want to, you know, get away from their situation or their lifestyle and just run away with you in their mind. We have drama. Yeah, so I don't want to complicate this situation any more than it already is. Where can I find you? I tried to reach you, but I can't get through. So yeah, this person's really trying to reach you. But the thing is, is, I don't know if they're actually going to do anything. Some of them will, but some of them are just going to sit there in the corner and kind of watch you or think about how... And maybe they did lose your number for someone, or maybe they just, in their own mind, again, they're kind of coming up with excuses like it wouldn't work anyway or I shouldn't do this anyway or there's too much drama there's too much this or that so they but my question is kind of why then are they still latching on to you and I don't think they have an answer to that either we have the mirror again the way that I feel about you is exactly the way that you're feeling about me so we have mirror coming through three times in the reading so this is definitely somebody who you both mirror each other though so I think that for a lot of you, you probably feel 
if you resonate with this, you probably at least to some degree feel the same way. You feel that you also may miss this person or you also may be interested or intrigued. What could we be or what could we talk about or what's what's under the mask here? There's definitely a curiosity and I don't think that's one-sided. You may tell yourself it is, but I don't think it really is. And that's where this kind of outcome is. You know, we need to we need to kind of go through the forest first before we know what's going to happen in the future. So this is just confirmation right now for what somebody needs to know. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope that this reading could help whoever it's for. Definitely more of a shadow reading, I feel. But whoever was meant to hear it, then I hope that this could resonate with you. Let me know if you'd like to and take care. Lots of love. And I will talk to you next time.